I wasn't necessarily surprised that EY announced that they were evaluating this. Um, in, in my prior life, when I was a partner at Arthur Anderson, Anderson Consulting separated from Arthur Anderson in 1997, and then ultimately rebranded as Accenture and went public in 2002. At that time, Price Waterhouse, Ernst & Young, and KPMG all sold their consulting practices for different reasons. Um, Deloitte had evaluated but did not conclude a transaction. Um, I think that the regulatory environment with respect to audit practices has become much more difficult. Um, I didn't necessarily anticipate the Sarbanes-Oxley legislation in the United States, but it's had global implications. Um, we made a decision in 2002, we did not believe that having an audit practice was appropriate in a business that provided other types of services. We think audit should be a standalone service. Um, many countries have um, gone the route legislatively of audit firm rotation or putting substantial restrictions or even prohibiting the ability to provide other services where you have a public company that you're auditing. So it will not surprise me if Ernst & Young is successful in separating consulting if other major accounting firms reevaluate their position and follow the same same approach. Okay, uh, Marco, what implications will ha will it have for your uh, firm, Anderson? Well, it's not going to change anything we're doing from a business perspective, because we never intended to have an audit business. Um, we do see, we do believe today we are an alternative to the big four. Um, we do see a lot of people from the big four that like working for a business like ours that does not have an audit practice because they don't have the restrictions on scope of practice or independence issues or potential conflicts. So we think today we're very well positioned as an alternative to the big four in the tax and other general consulting businesses. Okay, uh, are you trying to uh, uh, poach in a few of the partners at EY who are uh perhaps not very uh, immu uh, very not uh, who are perhaps not very interested in this sort of uh, structural breakup um, we're not actively pursuing anybody from EY or the other firms but um, I think I have a philosophy it's harder to find good people than it is to find things for good people to do so we're always interested in people who are attracted to our platform who see an opportunity and share a vision um, with us on what the strategy should be for our business. Okay, and uh, 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 you certainly are in uh, for a favor, uh, you certainly seem to favor this sort of uh, structural breakup. Uh, and do you think that uh, the rest of the firms, maybe the GTs and the BDOs, and the rest of the three uh, big four accounting firms should also uh, follow this suit? Well, well, that's a decision they have to make. Um, but we do think that the, I do think that the profession should regulate themselves, that they shouldn't rely upon um, governments to tell them how to run their businesses, that they need to make their own assessment on how they want to run their business. On a personal level, we made a decision as a group of partners that we didn't think it was appropriate for us to have an audit practice and provide other services. Um, we think we're in a better position to provide those services without the types of restrictions and that we can be independent and objective with respect to those services without having to worry about an audit relationship. Okay, does this mean Anderson uh, will certainly not foray into audit forever? Um, we have no intention of ever being in the audit business. Um, we don't think that the, the, the business is aligned in a way that makes that an integrated solution that we think is appropriate. Okay, uh, and on the EY split, what is the one challenge uh, that you see in, 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 in a breakup like this? And uh, uh, what is the key to the successful breakup? Well, I think, I think their challenges are multifaceted because they're such a large dynamic and, and significant business that one, I think, um, and I've, I've read some of the articles and some of the quotes from their senior management, that maybe not every one of their countries is going to be interested in pursuing that. There also have been some speculation that part of the tax business may go with the audit business, part of the tax business may go with the consulting business. 
I think there's a lot of uncertainties that still need to play out. I applaud them for for taking a look at this uh, this option. I think it's uh, I think it's healthy for the industry. I think it's healthy for their firm, but I think it's going to be very challenging for them to be able to execute. Um, and I hope for th for their benefit that they're successful if that's what they want to pursue. Yeah.